guys, it's Gladiator from Gladiator Gaming here, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to get gold weapons and tools, well, parts on the division. So, what I'm actually going to go ahead and show you is the power of using a second character to transfer items through the stash. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and go over to the crafting station and show you where it goes down. And surprisingly, in this game, it's not in the DMs, it's in the, <laughs> it's in the crafting station. So... Right here I got three blueprints only but what I'm actually trying to do is roll a good vector because vector is one of the best guns in the game and if you can get the right stats on it it's super good. As you can see it ranges from 8,300 damage to 9,300 so you have to kind of get lucky plus with your talents and that's why you gotta, you gotta kind of get lucky and it takes a lot of weapon blueprint or a lot of weapon tools and weapon parts so that's why I'm making this video because I found a little tip on how to actually do it fast and the blueprints for those gold weapons can actually be purchased up here at the special gear vendor if you have Phoenix credits from doing the daily challenges and stuff or even beating bosses in the dark zone you can actually go here and buy some blueprints it restocks every couple of I don't know if it I think it's every couple of days though and once you do that you know you're good so when a reason for this is that you're gonna be transferring blue weapons and blue tools but if you buy blue tools right here like you say oh gun you know you can just buy them here well it doesn't really work like that because they're like 30,000 for like one blue which is like basically one uh, one blue part that you can transfer in right here you can actually transfer it into gold parts but it takes five blue parts to actually transfer into gold weapon parts or tools so yeah so what you want to do as I said before have a second character get that second character level 6 and right here you can actually transfer stuff in there I'm gonna go ahead and put something in there just show you guys that it works so let's go ahead and put this mask in there so now you see the mask is in my stash so what I'm actually gonna do is log out because of my second character so I'll just cut this out and I'll be back when I'm with my second character okay guys so I'm actually back for you guys there was only like literally not even a second but for me it was a little bit of load time you know that's one of the downsides of this game it has quite a bit of load time between sequences and changing characters and stuff like that but I can understand it's a big game big file stuff to load in stuff to process stuff like that <laughs> and right here you see is my level 6 character I'll approve it bottom right corner level 6 we're gonna go ahead to the stash and the mask I put in there is in there so I'll go ahead and take that out and one one tip I'll give you guys about this is that you want to go ahead and put purple uh, weapons or anything into your stash with your main character and then use them with your second character and go ahead and sell. So once you go ahead to here you can just sell right away. I'm going to go ahead and sell some of the stuff. There's a mask. Now comes the fun part. You can actually go ahead and buy weapons. See how they were 37,000 on my other character now they're only 1,800. And this one comes with another uh, tool on it so like you don't even have to buy tools now it comes with a tool blueprint or a tool part on it I mean so we'll go ahead and buy the sniper and buy as many as you want as many as you want it does not matter and I'll go ahead and buy some tools obviously some uh, mods I mean so we'll go ahead and buy the cheapest one because it really doesn't matter as long as it's blue and we'll go right back to here Past the crafting station back to the stash let's go over to inventory and we can actually trade them and put them in our stash so we'll go ahead and do that okay all right now the tools oh god I accidentally put a green sorry about that I'll just leave it in there it doesn't really matter but now you can see they're in my stash and so we'll go ahead and transfer characters once again so be right back guys okay guys so I am back once again and uh, we'll go ahead and go in and I'll show you the goodies I have in my stash so as I said before you just take some blues buy them on your uh, basic character with the money you get or that character gets from your purples that you give them or anything else you want to sell and you get some blues transferred back to you that you can turn into parts that you can use to craft gold ones. So let's go ahead and take all of these snipers, keep tapping square, and we'll take all these tools. 
Okay, now that we have all of these, they're in our inventory, so what we can do is actually mark them as junk. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, yes. And I'm just gonna... It's kind of hard with this because even though, like, it's considered, uh, junk, it still has another mod on it. So, like, it kind of informs you that it has a mod on it beforehand. So, like, if it doesn't have a mod on it, you could just keep pressing L2 or whatever your mark is junk button is. And you don't have to press X like I am right now. But if it has tools on it, no biggie. It's even better if it has tools on it because you get more parts in the end. So let's go ahead, see what these, you could just hit L2. And then what you want to do is hold L3 on PlayStation 4 and I guess L3 on Xbox One. Not sure, but as you see, we get the tools. And what we can actually do is go back to the crafting station and go all the way down to the bottom and go to weapon parts. And we can actually turn those blue parts into golds. So let's go ahead and do that. See, we crafted two already and we didn't even really put a lot of uh, weapons or anything. Like, for this video, I'm only, I only bought like 5, 10 of each basically. So like, you can buy a lot more. Uh, it's very cheap. If you, ha if you get your character with like 300,000, like, just imagine how many you can buy and actually do. So as you see right here, I'm one off of making a vector. So for sake of the video, I will go ahead and try to make a vector and see if I get lucky on cam, which probably I won't and it'll come out to a really crappy vector, but we'll go ahead and see, just for sake of video, so. Okay, let's see what we got on here talent wise. Uh, it's not bad, but it's not that good, the damage is pretty good, but like my vector right now is way better, so like. Yeah, that was kind of a fail, but you know, if I would have bought more parts and stuff, I could have had better chances of making a vector. And any weapon, like this is for any gold weapon, so any ones I could buy upstairs right there, you can get gold weapon parts out of, or get gold weapon parts for and craft, you can do this strategy with them. So that's basically the basics of it. Oh yeah, another thing I want to mention, don't level up your level 6 character past level 6. I guess you can, but don't go so high that they start marking up the blues at such insane prices. Even I think I went up a little bit, maybe level 5 is good. Just, you gotta kind of find that medium. Also, like, the stuff re does restock. Sometimes I'll find a pistol in there for only a thousand, so... Just be on the lookout for cheaper prices for blue uh, weapons or mods, so... This all depends on restocks, I guess, so... Yeah guys, that's the video. Hope you guys learned something. Hope it helps you. And if it did, please smack that like button. Thanks for watching guys.